So now we will talk about error control, which is very important and necessary for a computational program using numerical method to solve all the okay. Error control. So error analysis <laughs> and the control are important. Features of any numerical scheme for solving first order ODE. And then we will talk about some um, notations. So, notations here we have epsilon. That is the maximum desired arrow. Usually the epsilon it will be equals to the tolerance you defined in your program divided by 10. Okay. Um, another notation is sigma is the estimate of arrow at each step. So basically is the local error, right? And if, so how we do the error control? If my uh, sigma is over 0.2 epsilon smaller than 10 epsilon, we think this is fine for the step size. So leave the normalized step size and change. And if the epsilon is to be, which is over 10 um, epsilon, then we will decrease the step size h by a factor of two. And redo the arrow control. Then if my epsilon is too small, which is smaller than 0.2, uh, sigma is too small, it's smaller than the 0.2 epsilon, then we will increase the step size h by a factor mm -hmm. of two. So in general, you can see that in general, We don't want our h is too small or too big, right? We don't want that not too small. If the h is too small, right, then that will lead a significant um, computational expense, means that the total step you need to scan is huge. So we don't want that computation is expensive. Okay, and then we also don't want this H is too large, right? You probably will never be converged or uh, it will um, lead to significant error, right? So the accuracy. And we will use two examples to see how you can calculate um, the arrows based on different method, for example, based on different step size or based on different order of the range quota, then we can see how the program, such as MATLAB, to do this kind of arrow analysis and control. Okay, so we will make an example. Obtaining arrow estimate and we will make an example one which is different step size okay and we will use 
um, Ranch Kuta method to um, solve these examples. And we will choose the most often one, the Ranch Kuta force order. Okay. And we will say, okay, our true value, which is y, our true value will be equal to you use step h as a, a range kuta method you obtain a, a y from range kuta's method and you know that the local arrow which sigma will be h to the fifth so that is the true value which is your range kuta's value plus some arrow um, corrections and you can rewrite this using the notation sigma and our true value if you increase, for example, you increase the size from H to B to H, so we use Y to H. That is using step size 2H to obtain the uh, estimate value using range quota. And instead of H to the fifth, it will be 2H to the fifth. And you will get Y to H plus 2 to the fifth sigma. So that is you, um, after you increase the step size, what is the local arrow? Then you can use this equation one, equation two, and equation one, um, equation two minus equation one. Then you can get the left hand side because that is the true value, which y minus y will be equals to zero. Then the left, uh, the right hand side will be y two h minus y h plus two to the fifth minus one sigma. Okay, uh, then let's rename this by two H minus Y H. Basically is the difference of the estimate value of rank using range footer with different step size. That will be equals to dot Y and let's make it simple. So the absolute number of that. Then the sigma will be equals to dot y divide by um, 2 to the fifth minus 1 and estimately just a dot y divided by 2 to the fifth will be equals to dot y divided by 32. So basically you double the step size from h to 2h then you will lead um, a truncation arrow so you will since you double the step size Double the step size. The step size. Right? When you double the step size for the 2H part, you basically uh, uh, smaller the total size of your uh, calculation uh, from, for example, 1 over H going to uh, um, 1 over 2H. So that the local. Uh, sigma will be dot y divided by 16, where my dot y is equal to y to h minus y h. Okay, so um, this is the local arrow estimates using different step size. Okay, and we will make another example, uh, which is um, using different range quotas method. So example two. Is computation with two different range footer approximation. Okay. And let's make an example of modified Wooler's method because modified Wooler's method will have, you know, the y is uh, estimated by the y um, m plus one star, which that is derived from the Wooler's method. So itself uh, mixed with two different range uh approximation. So the true value of y will be equals to y plus, let's use modified Wooler. Wooler. Um, modified Wooler is the second order of range Kuta, so the true value will be equal to whatever its um, derived value plus 
OH to the third, that is the truncation arrow, and that is equals to Y plus sigma, okay? Um, how about the Y star? If I use, for example, Wooler's method, let's use Y star here, so Wooler's method, and that will be equals to H squared, right? So it's larger arrow, that is equals to Y star plus sigma divided by H, where the sigma is equals to O H cube. Then if you use the equation uh, one minus equation two, what you get is zero equals to Y minus Y star plus sigma minus sigma over H, where my sigma is the transition arrow of H to the third. Then let Y minus Y star, absolute value equals to delta Y. What you can get is delta Y divided by minus one plus one over H is the local arrow. And if my H is really small, very small, so that means the bound over H is super big, then what you get is delta mm -hmm. Y over minus one plus one over H, estimately will be delta Y divided by one over H, will be H delta Y, and that is your arrow, okay? So therefore, for the modified Wooler's method, or you can say a combination of the Wooler's method and the modified Wooler's method, the arrow estimate is sigma is equals to H dot Y, where mm -hmm. Y is equals to different method, Y minus Y star. So the modified Wooler minus the Wooler, and you can get this H. And usually this arrow control and uh, um, estimates are already implanted into the ODE uh, um, function in the MATLAB. So you don't need to necessarily do by yourself. It will arrange the step size by itself, okay?